Yelts TV are proudly sponsored by the Big Pet Store for all your pet needs and Ace Embroidery. You can find the links in the description below. Manages to get past home. The ball's played in there towards Morgan Parker and that's a goal for Stalbridge. You can't quite see who scored that there. There are a lot of players in the box. Unfortunately, an own goal there. Hauser, we're looking strong in this first half. They've got 1 0 down. Daniel's just found himself in space on this near side, trying to make the run down. Trying to get past his man. Remember in the Christmas special, he was told he was the most skillful by most of the players. And that definitely proves that it's a dangerous ball there. Could have gone to Brown. And a very long attempt! What a goal! What a goal! From Curtis Tilt! Fantastic goal from Hauser in town! Curtis Tilt with a fantastic rub over all of the established players. Caught out! Dean Coleman in the Starwich goal, you can see, you can hear my excitement in my voice. Fantastic goal from Hales over in town. The fans absolutely love that. Hello and welcome to this Evo Stick Northern Premier League game here today between Hales Owen and Stalbridge. The last time these two teams played was on Boxing Day and a very gruelling 1-1 draw which saw arguably the goal of the season from Curtis Tilt. Hales Owen today could rise a place but more importantly stay above Stalbridge with a win today. So here are today's teams. In goal is Matt Sargent. The three centre backs today are Hull, Charlton and Tilt. In the wing back roles are Green and Griffiths. Midfield, Tonks, Ford and Brigoli with two strikers up front today of Paisley and Crystal. And here we go, the number nine derby is underway, the ball's played forward down the right hand side, Green's chasing the ball. We go, he's knocked the ball out. That was only been given a throw. Tonks another throw in towards the box, it's headed on by Hull. And he's come back out to Brigoli, Brigoli trying to drill it low in. Comes off Miles and Howzone have the first corner of the game. In towards the box. And the keeper spilled it here and Green with the shot. Tonks trying to play through Hazley. Hazley's still making a run. The linesman was flagging and Hazley's still going here. Hazley looking to keep the run going. Cleared by Miles. A very lively start from Hales Owen. Stalbridge haven't really had a chance or a sight. The goal Matt Sargent's covering as the throws in towards. And Green with the header and a great save from Dean Coleman to deny Hales Owen the lead. Free kick played forward from Stalbridge. Sargent's got that safely. And he plays the ball upfield quickly towards the run of Hazley. Hazley tries to make the touch and he's. Can he just about keep it in? No. Tonks the long throw in towards the box once again. He's headed away. Ford. Trying to play a ball back in towards the box. It's gone straight through everybody. And it's gone out for corner to Hale's own on this near side. Griffiths is running over to take it. In comes the throw and it's headed over by Starwich. Another corner for Hales Owen. They're really piling on the pressure in this first half. Bembo plays through Chris Light here. Chris Light looking to make the run round and Sargent has to make a save. Ball's played back. Hall with the clearance now. It's fallen for Hazley. Hazley trying to play tilt down the left wing. 
and Tilt looks as if he's been fouled and the referee's awarded a free kick here. Free kick played in towards the box. He's got in! Hales Owen have scored! Joe Hall with the header and Hales Owen take the lead. Great free kick played in from the left hand side and Joe Hall with the header makes it 1-0 to Hales Owen. And here come Hales Owen once again from kickoff style which haven't really settled into this game in the first half. 25 minutes in, it's come out to Griffiths now, trying to play the ball through to Tonks. Hazley with the ball in towards Christie, who tries to get the head on it. And Coleman's got that safely in his hands, but Hales Owen are leading 1-0 here. Tonks with a long throw in towards the box. And Green gets the head onto it, and it's gone wide for a goal kick. But Hales Owen will still play on. Griffiths finds Hazley now. Hazley trying to play through Ford here. Ford in a great position, tries to square it across the face of goal. And it's gone out for a throw to Hales Owen, piling on the pressure once again here. Corner played in low. It's come straight back out. Griffiths looking to play the ball back in towards the box. He's got Ford making a run. And he's played it in towards Christie, who took the volley. Good effort from Christie there. And that could have been two for Hales Owen. And the referee's blown up for half time. The score, Hales Own 1, Stalbridge 0. Hales Own came out of the blocks very early, putting the pressure on Stalbridge, who haven't really turned up in this first half. Griffiths plays the ball now through towards Hazley. Christie's in an offside position, but Hazley looking to hold off. Miles, Hazley plays the ball through towards Christie. He tries to find his way through. And Hales only been given a penalty here. Christie was brought down as he tried to get past the defender. And Christie scores the penalty. Hales only take a 2-0 lead. It's now 2-0 to Hales Owen. Scored by number nine, Eisden Christie. Down towards Ford, he makes the clearance upfield. And it's bounced straight over. Ben Hazy here has been called offside. Here's Tilt looking to try and make his way through. And he takes the shot. That's over the bar and I also have a goal kick. <laughs> Tonks with a corner in towards the box. Coleman has that handled. Referee calling for the free kick to be played forward. It's drilled low. And Sergeant will have that covered nicely. And the referee blows up for full time. It's ended. Hales Owen Town 2. Stalbridge 0. Hales Owen took the lead on 25 minutes from a free kick from Asa Charlton, headed in by our captain Joe Hall. Hales Owen came out of the block, second half again. Eisden Christie winning the penalty and scoring it on 49 minutes. Stalbridge didn't really have too many chances on the goal. But it's finished here at the Grove. Hales Owen Town 2. Stalbridge 0. So a great win for Hales Owen today. What, what were your thoughts on the performance? I thought the performance today was all about what we're, what we're about. We actually on the front foot, closing down, great energy levels, passion, and that's the John, John Hills team that is. So it's a 2-0 win and fantastic for the fans as well, a record attendance of over 1,700 fans. I mean, uh, 
How does that support sort of drive the team forward? I think it's great because uh, it, we've taken, obviously, for the last 12 games prior to this, we've drawn six and, and lost six. Uh, and it's a bit strange because we, we've already moved down from, I think, 10th place to 12th uh, in all that time. So we've probably taken six points from 36. Uh, and for us today now to get that win, it makes everyone have a feel-good factor. Obviously, there's a massive, massive bragging rights. Obviously, the lads were really pleased with the performance today as well. What was the atmosphere like in the dressing room? Just well, just now it's it's a bit relief, and also a, a massive, massive feel good because uh, we, we've we've waited a, a time to get a result, and I think that even if we'd won at Blythe, we had some good opportunities, and then we'd lost here today, it wouldn't have felt the same. So to get the three points and also against Stourbridge is a massive, massive lift to, to everybody concerned. Um, How's Owen were winning ball after ball today as well, and the defence kept a clean sheet. Uh, in your opinion, how good were they? How important is it to them to keep a clean sheet today? Well, clean sheets is, is all about what John Hill's about. Uh, we, we pride ourselves on that. I think we probably got the third or fourth best defence in the league. Um, and even last season, we, we pride ourselves on having clean sheets, which is the amazing, massive thing. If we have that as a platform, then we can also create chances. We'll always create chances, and if we get the front two or midfield can, can pop in one, then not out of ten, one goal should take us home, really. And uh, finally, it's coming close to the close of the season, and we were just wondering if you've got any ambitions for next season already. Well, yes, uh, I think we'll be due to sit down in probably two weeks' time, uh, the management team, and have a look at next season. But uh, for this season, it was all about us remaining in this division, but it's so hard when you've got the likes of people like Curtis Tilt, Tonksy, you've got Griff, Christian, all these young players coming through. You can't really tell them that we're just aiming to survive. They, they want more than that, 40s, and they want more than that, and they, they deserve more than that. So I think that they've had now, obviously by the April the 25th, they'll have 46 games under the belt, either having played them, looked at them. And so next season, I I think that our whole what it may be, but we've already got an indication of what we're trying to do for next season.